What's up guys and welcome to today's video. I have, well I'm trying to avoid all of the homework I have to do on a Saturday so here I am filming instead. I was just kind of in a mood and I was like let's do that. Hair is a mess, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, and uh, it's as good as it's getting, so let's get into this video. Basically, I wanted to start by saying anytime I've mentioned I've had a business or anything like that, people are like, you should go on Shark Tank, you should go on Shark Tank, you should go on Shark Tank, and this was something that I heard all of the time um, from the moment I had started my business and sort of expressed interest in the startup space till like now. <laughs> and I think that's also because most people don't understand sort of the concept that goes behind shark tank and all of that so i'm gonna get into that all in this video my views what i was trying to do and all of that so we'll get into all of that also i do want to mention that i love shark tank it's one of my favorite shows and i do hope that some at some point in my life i can be on shark tank um but i'm going to be talking about the two stories i have from almost getting cast onto shark tank and i figured i'd share them with you guys and also just what i was thinking about that entire process, how it went for me, and just what I was thinking about my own business goals and what Shark Tank would do for them. So for those of you guys who don't know, which I'm surprised if you don't know or why you click this title if you don't know what it is, but Shark Tank is basically a reality TV show where businesses pitch their idea in front of a bunch of angel investors who basically invest a large sum of money into their business for a small percentage of it and it's on abc and it's this major like i think it's like the number one most shot what the, the number one most watched show on abc so basically if you get onto shark tank your business is kind of set you're gonna do so well every business that goes on there does phenomenally well afterwards because of just how many views it gets so an opportunity like this would literally change your business for being like small business that no one knew about to something just absolutely huge. Anyway, so that would totally put my business in an amazing, amazing position. However, what one, mo however, what most people kind of forget is that when you do something like Shark Tank, you are going on to take on an investment with your business. And that means that you need to sort of show that your business is doing well or like has potential to do really well if you get a certain amount of money that can then push you to that next level. You don't just go on there for advertising purposes as some people have tried to do, but they don't really do that so much anymore because the idea is to in fact get an investment. So the first time um, I auditioned for Shark Tank, um, they actually came to my school, like my university, and they were doing like an open call in Philadelphia and then they did one at my school. So this was right, this is what, 2016, yeah, 2016, this was right after I had sort of launched the company, um, it had been like a couple months since we had launched, and we were really struggling for, with sales, our social media, and just trying to figure out different strategies to get ourselves out there, and I heard that Shark Tank was coming to my school to hold open calls. As I said, we had just launched our brand, and so our sales were like absolutely not in a position to be taking on any kind of investment. Um, we had like no proof of sale, I mean we did, but like it wasn't significant enough to go on something like Shark Tank. We had like a very, very small brand presence. I mean, it was really only people who kind of knew me and were like in this space. Long story short, we were just really not in a position to take on investment. We were very, very, very new and had to really build up our sales and our business before we could even get to that investment standpoint. Personally for me, I was not actively seeking out Shark Tank as an avenue. Publicity would be great, but I knew that like if I were gonna go on Shark Tank I want to stand there and know what I'm talking about But because they were doing a uh, like an open call at my school It was a limited pool like you had to literally be a student alumni or like faculty Like it wasn't just they were having it at my school and anyone could go It was literally you had to be affiliated with the university, which was really cool So I was like, well, why not just go? Um, I'm obviously not looking to like get cast on the show, but you know, whoever I meet there would be cool. Just practice pitching in front of whether that's casting or really anybody is always good practice just as a business person. And so I went because I figured it would be a really good experience and I really didn't expect to get anything out of it other than just like feeling good and having some good brand, blah, 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 and having some good pitching practice. So when I went, um, I pitched in a room with two women from casting and it was like the same thing, very quick elevator pitch. I think it's like 
30 seconds if you have a product or something you can bring it so I obviously brought my nail polish set and I did the pitch and it to me I thought it went really well I really didn't expect anything to come out of it and so I finished pitching and I left there were a bunch of people in line who were doing that so finished pitching left and felt really good about it but again really didn't have any expectations or anything after that then about a day or two later I can't remember that time frame but it was like within a fairly short amount of time I get an email from the one woman in casting and she said uh, we were really impressed by you and we want to actually move you on to the next round of casting and so my understanding of Shark Tank I think there's like four rounds of casting that you go through one is like some type of open call or something that I had attended then you'd move on to like um, a producer round which I'm gonna talk about in a second and then I think you move on to another producer round or something like that and then I think you find out that you're like cast on the show and then you actually fly out to LA and shoot I don't know too much about that um, because I haven't done it but I'm pretty sure that's kind of how their structure works so anyway, to the producer segment of the of the casting part. So the next phase is basically you um, shoot a video and it's a little bit more in depth. It's not like a quick elevator pitch anymore. It's kind of, you know, what's your business? How long have you been doing it? What's your team? What are your sales like? What's your growth? You know, I can't remember the questions off the top of my head because this was a few years ago, but it was definitely a little bit more in depth, a little bit more... Um, gritty in terms of you know what exactly you were doing why you wanted to be on something like shark tank and you had to film a video and i think it was like a 10 minute cap or something it was like roughly a 10 minute video so you definitely had a good amount of detail that you had to provide about your business and what you would want to do with shark tank and that video basically gets sent to producers so it's like a level up from casting who then sort of look through and see you know do we want to take them to the next level to potentially be on the show and also when you send in your video i believe i had to send them product as well so i sent them a couple nail polish sets just so they could see it in terms and like with my video after that i didn't hear back because i didn't make it to the next round i wasn't like i said i wasn't even expecting to make it to that round let alone the following round and to be quite honest i was so new in the game at that point that even if i found out i got cast on shark tank i probably would have turned it down i mean i don't know if that's like exactly what i would have done but i feel like I, if I had gotten cast I would be on the show just standing there like you know trying to prove how awesome my business is and then hear like hey you don't have any proof that this is great and that would have been so true like I wasn't in a point business-wise looking for investment and taking that level on so that was sort of my first experience um so I didn't get cast but it was a really cool experience just knowing that like through that casting process which i think i also found out later after that casting process had happened they had probably done almost like a hundred different castings and i think only like three people heard back afterwards and i was like one of those three so that was kind of cool <laughs> i do have i did have a very like shark tanky product like it was a nail polish set and you demoed it and you could make the custom shades like it would have that whole like shark tank tv effect to it because it was very demo-y in that sense and i was 19 at the time a college student like it it tells a good story for shark tank you know anyway long story short i didn't end up getting cast after that and i was kind of relieved almost because i didn't want to go on tv and make a fool out of myself i wanted to go on there and be like a baller so fast forward to 2017 at this point rung has really picked up in terms of publicity you know we had gotten into buzzfeed and bustle magazine um, insider beauty um, i had just finished up another tv show on tlc and so you know we were kind of doing way better than we had in the previous year in terms of publicity and just working with influencers and really getting our brand out there so it's about the summer of 2017 i'm fresh off of doing another reality tv show on women businesses if you guys haven't seen my stint on tv i will link that video down below however sales were still kind of struggling and i can get into a little bit more of an in-depth video about this later on i've gone back and forth about whether I want to make a video about this or not because it's a little bit personal. <laughs> not personal about me, but personal about my business and just how we were growing and that kind of thing. I can try to make that later if I feel like making it. I don't know if I will or not, but long story short, we were getting a lot of press and we were getting a lot of media attention, but our sales were still kind of struggling in terms of like a growth trajectory. So I get an email one day from someone in Shark Tank casting and it's a different lady this time but she still works for Shark Tank casting they have a huge team and basically in her email she said hey like I came across your brand and I think you'd be really great for Shark Tank do you have time to hop on a call blah 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 
And so I just figured I'd honor it. I kind of just wanted to talk to her again. I was not in a place where I felt like Shark Tank would be a really good place in terms of handling investment because when they ask about sales data and stuff like that, it just wouldn't be where I wanted it to be. I'm on the phone with her and she's telling me about the process and I don't think she had known that I had already like gone through the process a little bit before. Like I knew a little bit about what the process was like from the prior year. And so she was like telling me a little bit about it and I was like, I jokingly said on the phone with her, I was like, oh yeah, I know, I, I actually like went through the process last year. And she was like, oh no way, that's really cool. And so just out of genuine curiosity, I like asked her, I was like, just wondering like, how did you find our, our brand, our company? And you know, why did you read like, just wondering how you like found us and what made you want to reach out? And she was like, I found you in Bustle Magazine. And to me that was really cool because it meant that like our press strategies were really working and you know people from like Shark Tank casting for example found me through like a really organic way without me like applying there so that was kind of cool. Once again I was offered to take to go to that next round where I shoot a video sent into producers and that kind of thing. However I had a little bit of a legality problem because I was already on a TV show prior to that and I actually had a non-compete clause in my contract that didn't allow me to do another reality TV show of that type. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that but um, aside from that sort of legal stop because I probably if I really was in a position to do it I could have negotiated and that kind of thing. I again just didn't feel like we were at a point to do Shark Tank again. So I unfortunately turned it down then because I didn't want to do the show if our sales were not in a good spot and our business wasn't growing at this pace that we were supposed to be growing at and i was legally stopped because i was on another tv show so that's kind of my story with shark tank and that's kind of my story with rung and all of that uh like i said shark tank is one of my favorite shows and i do hope that i get to do it someday hopefully with true tone that might be the next move for me uh we'll kind of see where things go in the meantime but like I said, I wanted to just share that story with you guys because people ask me all the time about doing Shark Tank and then I always tell them like, lol, I actually almost was cast on the show. Twice, actually, twice. Like who, how does that happen to someone? I don't know. So I always share that story and people are always like really shocked by it or really interested by it. So I figured I'd put it on the internet forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know I say I'm gonna try to keep active posting videos and I really, really do. Um, I actually just made a whole list of video ideas that I have for you guys uh, for 2019 in terms of startups and entrepreneurship. Um, I know a question, I live in front of the police station so you're gonna hear police sirens in like a second. I have a lot of video ideas that I think would be really good for you guys or just anyone who's really watching and just interested in startups and beauty and this whole entire space. Um, college or sort of college and startups. I actually have a bunch of videos that are kind of themed towards that. So as always, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.